you uh, do you have any advice for the new lifter or experienced lifter uh, do this say say I call you for a lecture uh, you give some advice uh, from Ray William not like you know what people think mm -hmm. uh, because usually people always complain I cannot train this you know I cannot sleep this and that what what what, what would you say general in common uh, any advice uh, how people can improve their lift or any any advice from you um typically i give three pieces of advice to any lifter i see the first one is nutrition and health yeah you have to take care of your body i mean people people see me i'm 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 a big guy but at the same time you have to be healthy like and i don't mean healthy as an in injury free i mean healthy as in heart, liver, lungs, brain, body function, respiratory, lymphatic system, you have to be healthy. You have to take care of yourself. Uh, some people have these notions that, hey, he's a big guy. He can eat whatever he wants. That's not true. Yeah. Because, you know, if I just put garbage in my body, I'm a 400-pound man. You know, that's a lot of stress on the heart. And, you know, I, you, you have to take care of yourself. You have to stay healthy. Um, you can eat what you want, but do it in moderation. That's that's me. That's my first one. Second is you know the supplement side. Um, I know there are some lifters in the world that think you can do it all yourself. You don't need supplements. That is so not true. That is so not true. Because when I first started powerlifting, I didn't use knee sleeves. I didn't use any type of supportive gear at all. Um. I tried to do the lots of chicken, lots of beef, lean beef. I tried all that to get the proper protein intake, but the bigger you get, the more nutrition you need, the more the more the body the more the body's gonna require. Like my joints, I take joint supplements. My house has stairs. Before I, I hated walking up steps. I did. But you know, um with good supplements, fish oils, joint supplements, you know, I'm you know, I'm, I'm a lot better. So the second one is supplements. You need protein. You need joint supplements. You need BCAs. You need amino acids. You need stuff to make the body function properly and not only properly, but to function as efficiently as possible. And, you know, um, you know, I know this is some, some stuff you're not used to having a big man say. And the third thing, the most important thing to me is have fun. I mean... People wonder why I'm so animated on the platform, why I almost miss attempts because I'm sitting there, you know, yelling and jumping around because you train for months, for months. I don't think people understand when I say this. You train for months. You go through a lot. You miss a lot of time with your family. You miss a lot of time with your friends. You have to put stuff that's important to you on the back burner so that you can train. So that you can be a good power lifter. So whenever you get your opportunity, you have one minute to shine. One minute, nine times. So you roughly you have nine minutes to show out and have fun. So have fun. Like don't let anybody take the fun out of power lifting or your power lifting experience. Have fun while you lift. You you were mentioning uh, like diet and you have to eat a lot and the same. Uh, I want to ask you how important is sleep, you think? Because uh, the body need rest and mm -hmm. you you rest when you sleep. Mm -hmm. And we know that the, the brain is tired, like uh, the brain actually need more rest to control our body. 
So how important you think the sleep is and what is your average uh, sleep time? Um, through, because I coach football and I have kids and I'm currently in school myself and on top of training, I get about five to six hours of sleep on a daily basis. But being that I have a meet tomorrow, I'm going to get, I'm going to get about 10 hours of sleep. Sleep is very important. That's when the body recalibrates itself. That's when the body fixes, repairs itself. So sleep is very important. Um, if you don't think sleep is important, you can test the theory out yourself. Like while you're in a, a low volume, lightweight um, part of your training, if that exists in your training cycle, just experiment. Just taking, just take deprive yourself of an hour of sleep. Like if you wake up, if you wake up at 7 a.m., just set your alarm for 6 a.m. Do that for a week. And just losing that one hour of sleep will make a huge difference in your training. It'll make a huge difference in your focus and your preparation. It, 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 sleep is very important. Uh, just one more question uh, on coaching. Uh, I want to ask you how do you coach. A uh, simple question, uh, probably is not really that much relative, but I want you to tell people from your point of view. Some people, they coach, especially uh, in competition. Mm -hmm. Some people like to be encouraged and say to you positive things. And some people use negative approach. You know, they say, oh, couldn't you do this? You know, you're supposed to be stronger than that. Come on, bust it, this and that. That is negative approach some mm -hmm. people use. And some people try to make it really funny so you don't think nothing. Just when the lift comes, boom, you're ready. So what, what kind of uh, coaching you like yourself if someone coaching you? Or if you coaching someone, what would you say to them? You will encourage them or uh, just keep them neutral? What, what would you do? Well, um, to answer the first one, like, I really didn't start um, being coached until about a year and a half ago. Until about a year and a half ago. Um, it's a thunderstorm, so... Oh, by the way, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I forgot to uh, uh, tell people uh, who's watching that we are sitting in a hotel in Minsk Belarus, a Russian country. Uh, so this is a very uh, tight spot here. You can see that. Uh, I, I, I will thank him later on uh, uh, giving me this time. And he's competing actually in a world championship uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, I was thinking maybe he would say he want to take rest. And I'm really thankful to him that he uh, gave me this time uh, for this talk or uh, I wouldn't call it an interview. It's not a, like a professional uh, interview or anything like that. I'm really thankful to him. Uh, we're sitting here in Belarus, uh, and he's competing tomorrow morning, and I will be there. So, not, uh, okay, go ahead. Um, Matt Gary does my does my coaching slash programming, um, and we have a great relationship uh, to where. You know, it's more, it's more of a collaboration. He he asks me what what are my goals. He comes up with a plan, and we sit and we talk about that plan. We figure out what is the best way for Ray um, to get where he's trying to go, the most efficiently and with the most rest breaks. You know, incorporated in the plan as possible. So. Um, I'm more of a fan of a collaborative approach. Um, he's the expert, but at the same time, I'm an expert when it comes to me. I know what works for me. Yeah. So I sit back, we talk, and we come up with a foolproof plan. So the past few meets, um, starting, I think, starting back to nationals, maybe even before nationals, you know, what we do now has been working, and um, I'm very thankful for that. And as far as me as a coach, um, I wouldn't call myself coach. Um, I have certain people that I help, um, but they were strong before I got there. 
Um, I kind of look at it as the teacher student. I take the teacher student approach. I just try to fix their technique and teach them what was taught to me. Um, like deadlift, for example. Um, it took me a long time to realize that deadlift is a push, not a pull. Yeah. You know, a lot of people try to snatch the bar off the ground, and then speed is good till you get to the knees, and then now you you have to work well. If you just drive through the ground to begin with, you won't have to work as hard on the front end as you probably will on the back end. Um, so I just, as a coach, I'm more of a, I'm, I'd am i probably say I'm more collaborative too because I want to know what the lifter is thinking because we're not all the same. What yeah. worked for me may not work for the next guy. Yeah, Be- because I try to tell people when they say coach, uh, I always try to tell people there are three, four kind of uh, coaches uh, if we really think seriously because people who train you to become stronger yes, sir. in training and those coach could be good in competition but not necessarily yes, uh, because some people they can make a very good programming uh, they can train you they can help you but when it come to the competition they are not good psychologist so they cannot uh, dig out whatever you have it's like to psych you up or uh, to make you calm and feel comfortable and the third kind of coaches are good at the numbers. Maybe the person is a good trainer in the gym and he's one of the best psychologists uh, to, to boost your, your psychology, uh, but he doesn't know the numbers, uh, what number you need to, to win. Uh, so when I, I always tell people that you have to uh, research your coach, uh, if, what is uh, good for you, how he can handle the numbers, this and that. Uh, anyway, uh, I think you have given me more than uh, enough time to talk. I'm really uh, thankful to you. Uh, I will uh, put this uh, uh, on my Facebook, especially I will uh, try to uh, dub it uh, possibly, not right away, maybe in one or two months, uh, in Hindi or Punjabi language because uh, many, many people, they request me to talk to people, yes, uh, but some of them, they can't understand uh, English and they want to know what the big champion or someone say uh, so that they can use the knowledge. I will try to uh, translate and dub into uh, uh, the Hindi or in Punjabi language and I, I will continue to do that. And I, I once again, I will say um, that he's a very nice guy, uh, you know, to, to talk right, to. Man. Because sometimes people, the reason I'm saying, sometimes, you know, people see you lifting in a competition, what they will show is only uh, you come, psych up, you know, like a big man coming, a squat over a thousand pounds and just go. Uh, people think probably some big lifter, because they're so aggressive on the platform, they think maybe he's an aggressive guy and they probably will uh, afraid to shake your hand if they don't know you personally. Uh, so th- I, I just wanted to say he's a very nice guy to talk and uh, you can grab him anytime for a picture uh, never refuse if he refuse you let me know see, <laughs> yes, see uh, th- he, he was embarrassed to sit down next to me uh, because I make him look small so see how oh, big I am look, you know uh, it's a camera trick he look big uh, and <laughs> yes, I, I, I weigh 190, 190, he, he only just close to 400, so just it's just, as, yeah, I'm I going to eat some food and uh, I'll be bigger than him anyway, uh, because um, I did not ask him one question, I'm not going to ask him in front of the camera, uh, when we go out, I'm going to ask him uh, how I can become uh, big like him in two weeks, and uh, that will cost you a lot of money, uh, it's a secret, so... Uh, you know, I, I want to keep the secret anyway. Uh, maybe I will reveal uh, next time. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, his best squat is, I think, 477 uh, kilograms. I think that's right, yes, sir. Yeah, so 470, I think uh, 1,053, 1,052, 1,053. And um, I'm really happy because he improved uh, his uh, deadlift a lot uh, yes, compared to two, three years ago. And uh, he said that uh, he's uh, improving on the bench. And I will not ask him uh, about tomorrow's uh, lifting because uh, lifter, they really want to uh, concentrate and uh, their expectations should not be, uh, you know, make like this um, in front of the camera. We want to see 
uh, of course he will put a good show and uh, we have another uh, Canadian uh, left her from from uh, like I'm come from Canada Canada and uh, I think they are very good friends uh, Kelly Brenton and uh, there's another good lifter uh, is uh, from uh, Noru uh, yes, Jesa so that we are very lucky uh, I, I'm, I will be uh, like I, I apologize if I missed any name and someone is there uh, I don't want to offend uh, anyone uh, because sometimes uh, people praise the person who's sitting next to me no I don't want to do that. I have all the respect for Jesat, uh, Kelly Benton, uh, you and uh, uh, one uh, other really, really uh, a great lifter. Uh, uh, he did not compete one or two competitions uh, like a championship, uh, Blaine Sumner, because yes. he competed as a, uh, a equipped. Uh, he's a very good friend of Ray. Uh, one of the strongest men uh, in powerlifting. Yes, so th we will see very good show. I will try to take some pictures. Uh, but because I'm not a professional media uh, person, sometimes very hard for me to go in the front and uh, take pictures. And uh, I will try to talk to him time to time uh, in the future and ask his uh, advice and maybe try to dig out his uh, secrets uh, uh, on the camera. Uh, and I, I, I think he doesn't like to keep secrets uh, because uh, he wants people to become strong and compete against him. Uh, that that's what the the good sportsman uh, they 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 do and uh, uh, I don't want to say uh, that much uh, about you in front of you uh, because you know uh, he's already a big man so <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time once again yes, sir. and it's very nice to uh, talk to you and I will try to uh, you know record some clips and I might add uh, one or two clips from previous uh, championship I have yes, because I don't like to steal other people's uh, video or anything sometimes people don't like I will record uh, myself and I will talk to him uh, again in the future and I wish him luck uh, for you, tomorrow and for the future as I said before uh, we have not seen the best yet uh, he has a lot of uh, time and years to come uh, as I said, he's very young and uh, uh, improving, and he's not in, in powerlifting uh, for a long time. And uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. And Ray, you go to your room and uh, have some rest. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching once again.